guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl Ako Yvette Ako Yvette Aka AK News reporting in the building okay guys today we have something on AK News table I brought something on the table today which it's not really really a nice thing it's not a it's not the news I'm bringing today is not a good one all right so i saw this post on facebook i saw it on insta blog and i was like oh my god i saw two things i saw one a, a, a 60 year old man that raped a nine year old girl because of 50 naira like he actually lured her with 50 naira in order to have a kind of knowledge of her and i was like oh my god does this thing like people will never get tired of doing such things like when they get that so i mean women are everywhere i mean why this little girl why are they always is it that it's occultism is it that they, is there is there something behind this old men raping young children is there something behind oh they just love destroying people's children anyway there is another one here i saw where a guy break into people's home pretending that he is a ghost and now his victims will run away consumed with fear that they have seen a ghost and then he will get in and steal their property i'm like where did you get this idea from where are you coming with this idea like who gave you this idea to actually to actually disguise to actually disguise as a ghost to get into people's house so it's no longer entering with these with weapons and this is now you disguise now as a ghost you get into people's house and then they are now scared they run away you now get in and oh my god guys so those are the two gist i have on ak news table today which we are going to be discussing but before i continue i want you to hit that subscribe button down below if you're watching me for the very first time hit that subscribe button down below because i have a lot of interesting news to bring to you and before i forget i did a video and there is an update on the bb niger reunion show it was supposed to be on the first of june but now it's no longer on the first of june but on the 17th of june which we are going to be having the reunion show like i said you have to subscribe so that i, I will have to keep giving you updates now how can you have these updates if you haven't subscribed how will you have this update if you haven't subscribed so subscribe to this channel so that each time i bring beautiful videos like this interesting informative educative you're going to be the first person to get the notification all right so please don't forget to hit that like button after watching this video also stay a comment at the comment section and share my videos to as many people as possible so on the ak news table today we have this guy so you can see the way he is dressed see the way he is dressed <laughs> oh god he himself he doesn't even look normal he himself like physically like even even without even without the the the, the, the the skeleton dress or whatever he doesn't even look normal he he he, he just understood how himself is. so he went and took this stuff these guys as you can see you can see guys he disguised as a skeleton or as a ghost get into people's house they will run away they will get scared and run away you will now see let me read what was written there so you have this guy was breaking into people's homes pretending to be a ghost his victims will run away consumed with the fear of having seen a ghost then he will steal their property fortunately he has been arrested done 99 day for this one day for the owner like you i mean what makes you to be doing all that who gets you the idea who even taught you this like how did you th this world is really spoiled this world is bad it's demonic it's it's bad who gave you such idea that you can actually dress like a ghost in order to scare people away get into people's home scare people away and they will steal their property i mean that that serves you right guy that serves you right yes that serves you right for you to actually be doing that so this the guy was actually caught and i'm sure he's now at the police station all right so whoever that is doing that with him or whoever that is an accomplice or elsewhere doing the same thing just know that one day the same way that this guy is caught is the way same way you'll be caught so if you're doing such a thing you're dressing like a ghost you pretend like a ghost to get into people's house scare them away oh my god i can already feel like if a ghost oh my god all all the way i will run <laughs> you will not even imagine guys so you can imagine how it gets into that house and people run away and you steal their things so well the good news is he has been arrested so he's not going to do that anymore now the next post is this nigerian lures nine-year-old girl with 15 naira allegedly defies her in quara 
the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps Quara Command has arrested a 60-year-old man, Jeremiah of Al Ileloja compound, Kiama, for allegedly having carnal knowledge of a nine-year-old girl. Nine years. Nine years, guys. Nine years. Oh my god. Like what is this world turning into? Anyway, let me continue reading. The commands pro Mr. Baba Wale Afolabi in a statement on Saturday in Liron in Lorin noted that the case was reported at its divisional headquarters. Nigerians. I mean a lot of nasty things happen. It's not just in Nigeria, it's happening everywhere. It happened even in Cameroon, happened in Ghana, it happened all over the world. It's not just it's just that it's just so rampant in Nigeria. Like it's just so it's something that is like a normal thing in Nigeria. We always in Nigeria, 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 Nigeria. So please you guys have to be very, very careful with your children when you leave your children. And we no longer trust these old men. At first, people will leave their children in the hands of old men, come back and meet them safely. Let me finish the, the, the stuff. Headquarter came out on Friday. He added that the suspect was caught in the act, oh my God, by the parents of the victim. He was caught in the act by the parents of the victim. The suspect enticed the victim by giving her 50 naira. Oh Jesus. So because of 50 naira, you defy somebody's nine-year-old child. Oh, this man, this man, this man. People are wicked. People are really, really wicked in this world. Because of 50 naira, which is not even up to, it's even how much in Cameroon. You would defy somebody's nine-year-old child. It will not be wary. He has confessed to the crime. While the suspect has confessed to the crime. Okay. Yeah, they say he has confessed to the crime. Why the minor has been taken to the general hospital, Kiama, for proper medical attention, Afulabi. Guys, let me show you the picture. Let me show you the picture of the man that defied. Look at the man. Look at this man. Look at this man. Like, why would you do this to a nine-year-old child? Nine years. Is this not wickedness? Is this not wickedness, my people? Is this, is, this man is even supposed to be married? Why are you not married? Why wouldn't you, why wouldn't you look for a wife? Why would you defy somebody's child? Nine years old. Look at the man. And all my 60 years old. 60 years old. Guys, we have to be very, very careful. When leaving your child in the hands of... When leaving your child, eh? Please be careful. Now, he was in the act. It's not as if they heard about it. Or they caught him in the act. That means he was actually doing it. They caught him with a child. This is very, very bad. I mean, men, parents, grandfathers... Please, you guys should change. It's enough is enough. You guys should change. You they, today they will report this one. This person has done that. This person the next day you will hear another news. Another person somewhere, another grandfather somewhere has done this to another daughter. So another I mean the world is really coming to an end. Why would an old man of 60 years old lure a child? 50 naira. You are supposed to even give that 50 naira. Go and buy something. You lure that child. In fact, did the child even tell you that she is hungry? Oh my God. It's only God that can protect. In this case, I will say it's only God. Because you are there, you don't even know what is happening. You don't even know what is happening with your children. And look at this man. Look at him. What he did to a nine-year-old child. Look at him holding his chasm. He has already defied the child. Now the child is in the hospital that's struggling now to see if maybe there are any sexually transmittable disease, maybe there's any sickness, anything damage of course in the child's body. Why all this? When you are supposed to be protecting the child, but you are destroying the child. Does it make any sense? So guys, we have to be very, very careful. You have your child. Please, whether boy or girl, because this time around, it's like they are waiting for anything human. So you have to be, just we just need to be praying for them because it's only God that can protect. Somewhere, sometimes you are somewhere else you don't even know what is happening. So we just need to be committing them as you are leaving them at home. Commit them in the hands of God. Let God protect. It's only God that can protect them. Sometimes you are even at home and they are outside playing. You don't even know what is happening. You don't even know where they have gone to. You even send them to the stream to carry water. You don't even know where they branch to. You don't even know who called them. You don't even know who is talking to them. So at the end of the day, I will say, oh, the mother was careless. Oh, the father was careless. Because they might have gone to work and the child is in the house. You don't expect them to carry the child to work. 
there is there is a big house there is a big compound maybe the child is probably playing there and this man came and lured this child with 50 naira 50 naira to destroy this child oh jesus Okay, guys, so that is just what we have on AK News today. That's just what we have on the table today. Thank you so, so much for watching. Let me hear your comment at the comment section. What do you think about what this man did? And what do you think can be done in order to prevent such acts from happening? Because the act has just become so rampant. Like, it's just happening. It's just happening, like, every day. It's like a routine. It's just happening every day. It's just, like, a, and hap like I don't know how to put it. I don't know how to put it. So just leave your comment at the comment section. What do you think can be done? For me, I feel like we just need to commit everything in the hands of God because you don't. You, no matter how protective you are, at the end of the day, the child is playing here, is playing there, is playing in school, is playing. Here. We don't even know because even teachers too are harassing children. So for me, I think my own solution is that we should only be putting everything. We should be careful. We should be careful and always try to check on our children and also make sure we always put everything, put the children in the hands of God every day as we wake up so that God should be the one to protect them. So guys, I'll be waiting for your comment. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. This is Ako Ife Aka AK News reporting. That is all we have on the table today. Thank you so much. Subscribe, like, share and do stay the comment at the comment section. Thank you so much and please do have a nice day. Bye.